Hello and welcome to this Haas Tip of the Day. Today's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to program a full, simultaneous, five-axis part by hand. Here's our part. It's a four-inch square block. Now, I've already written a program that's simply going to take my engraving tool and walk around the top corners of this four-inch square. Now, on a UMC, if we were to make a rotary move while walking around this block, the rotary would collide with our tool. To program this with a CAM system, you would need thousands of lines of code to simultaneously move the X, Y, and Z axes at the same time to keep the tip of my tool at the correct location on the part at all times. Now, we're going to edit this simple program and show you how to use TCPC to make simultaneous fourth and fifth axis moves. Now the part of the program that shows the XY moves, it's only four lines long. Y4, X4, Y0, X0. Let's watch it run. To turn my basic program into a full five axis program, we're going to change my G43 into a G234. G234 is a code that calls up tool center point control. Now when we add rotary moves from my program, well, rather than explain it, let's show you what it does. This time, the entire world is moving. With TCPC, the tip of my tool is staying at the exact XYZ location as programmed even though the part is moving about in space. Now it doesn't even matter what rotary positions I put in. As long as the tool doesn't shank out on the part, I can put in anything I want. B minus 20, I'll throw in a, a B minus 30 over here, I'll throw in a, uh, a B minus 15 here and a C 180. Now my rotary is moving all over the place, but the tip of my tool is still following that same XYZ location on the part, thanks to TCPC. Okay, so this is cool for a couple of different reasons. One, it's gonna save thousands of lines of code. And two, the machine is holding my work coordinate to my part and not to my machine. It's doing all of the math for us. So this means that you can program your part using TCPC and DWO, and have someone on another shift set up and run that part. This is a big deal. Watch, this is the same program, zero edits. I'm pulling out this vise and replacing it with an entirely different vise. Different position, different height. So again, thanks to TCPC, all I did was probe my new part in the new vise and run the program. We've even put the code up on the screen to show you that I didn't change a thing. Well, we ran this part on a UMC machine. You can actually do the exact same thing if you've got a vertical and the next generation control. We've got a trunnion here, and you can take that same part and program from this VF6 and put it on your VF4 if you've got the TCPC DWO option on your next gen control. So we programmed a full five axis part by hand. And then we moved that part from spot to spot using different vices. This was all possible because of TCPC. TCPC and DWO are easy to use and they make the machinist's life easier. That's it and thanks for watching this Haas Tip of the Day.